I've already reviewed the RX3 wireless, and the wired is basically the same, but it has a detachable USB Type-C cable, and again, the cable is really flexible, nice and smooth. In a bungee, you barely notice it. Which brings us to an important question. How much heavier would a wireless mouse have to be before you choose the wired version instead? I put up a vote for everyone on Twitter, and 36% said 10 to 14 grams heavier. 27% said 5 to 9 grams heavier. Well, the Aerox 3 wireless is 68 grams, while the wired version is 59 grams, with the cable plugged in. So when you're gaming, that's a difference of 9 grams. I wanted to figure out which I would actually choose though, so I jumped into Quake Live and played as hard as I could on each. And the answer? Wired. I love not having a cable, but for me and my sensitivity, which is about a 28 to 30 centimeter 360, I would rather play with the cable and the lower weight. However, if you're doing massive swipes on low sensitivity, I would say the wireless is going to suit you better. You really don't want to be held back by a cable if you have that playstyle. Still, in terms of just aimability, I think the number is about 9 grams. A wireless mouse must be under 9 grams heavier than the wired version. Otherwise, the wired version will still be better for aiming. If the wireless is 6 to 8 grams heavier, then that's a toss up between the two. But if it's under 5 grams heavier, then I'll choose the wireless. I mean, it's so hard to really put a number on this stuff. I'm just trying to put some kind of numbers to try to help you decide. It really depends what you want and what you're going for though. The fact is, if you're not super serious or caring that much about aim, you just want a good mouse that would be great to use, wireless is probably the better option up to 12 grams heavier. Maybe even 15. It's really personal preference. If you're competitive though, go as low weight as possible. As for the mouse, it's solid. I like everything on it. Still series have really stepped up their game with these mice. I think the shape is a bit lacking, but overall it's good and safe. Just not quite good enough to compete with the absolute top mice, despite the really good features. And the quality isn't quite there, but it is cheaper, so it really depends on what you want. And by the way, this is the right way of packaging a cable. No kinks that could lead to breaks. Just nicely wrapped up in the box. Perfect. So I hope that helps. I do have an affiliate link with SteelSeries if you want to help support what I do. And big thanks to them for sending these mice out for testing and review. But all thoughts are my own of course. So as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.